In this video tutorial, you will learn how to register a software license and activate software using the Milestone Customer Dashboard. Before you start software activation, you must have purchased the necessary software licenses in the Milestone Store and received an email with Software License Codes SLC. If you have lost or never received this email, you can download the SLC from the Management Client License Details page. First, we need to log in to My Milestone. We enter our name and password and then select Login. We select Reseller Portal. If the Reseller Portal doesn't appear in your My Milestone account, contact your Milestone representative to request access. Then we select Software Registration. This takes us to the Milestone Customer Dashboard. Since this is our first time accessing the Customer Dashboard, we need to log in with our My Milestone credentials. First, we want to see an overview of licenses, so we select Licenses. On the License screen, we see all our licenses, along with an overview of relevant information. We can use Search to find SLCs, products, and customers, or choose the filter for licenses where upgrades are available. We recently purchased the SLC that appears fourth in the list. Because it is not yet assigned to a customer, it appears as unspecified. We want to assign it to Larson Warehouse. Before we do that, though, we want to see full details about the SLC, so we select the fourth license number to see more information. In the pane on the right, we see additional data about locations, hardware licenses, milestone care coverage, and so on. Let's select Details to proceed with the registration. We select the Customer Edit icon to assign a customer to the license. Select the arrow to open the drop-down list. Choose Larson Warehouse and select Save to assign Larson Warehouse to the license. The next step is to activate the software in the XProtect system. To do that, we need to load the license file .lic into the system. You can activate the software in two ways, either online activation or offline activation. In most cases, after installing the system with a .lic file available, it will automatically activate. In some cases, however, the server will not be connected to the internet to perform that activation. We want to perform an offline activation for Larson Warehouse Software License Code M01C01131026C4250. The first step is to get the license file .lic so we can upload it to our XProtect VMS. We can download it through a web browser or receive it via the email registered to our account. In this case, we're going to download it directly to a portable USB device, so we select Download Initial .lic License File. After navigating to the USB device, we select Save to store the file. Here, we've installed XProtect with the .lic file and exported a license request file .lrq from the offline activation menu. We've saved the .lrq file to the portable USB device. Select Activate.LRQ file and select Select.LRQ file. After selecting the .LRQ file, we select Open. The final license file will be sent to our email address. We can add additional email recipients if necessary. Let's select Upload to continue. After the software has been activated, we will receive important information about the license and installation. For example, the License Detail page will provide server information, milestone care details, activated hardware devices, other additional information. You just learned how to register a software license and activate software using the Milestone Customer Dashboard. Visit our YouTube site to view other tutorials in this playlist.